Hi guys, this is Ratchet Throw, and we are playing Criminal Case, Missile Pass, Case 41, Talk of the Town. Let's all our chapter 3. So someone uh, broke into recording Gazette and he's destroying uh, Joseph's desk. Which continues, must come quickly, there's a man in the Gazette office. And he's trying to trash Joseph's desk. Someone is trying to trash the Vinti's desk? That's sort of tip of Catry. Continue, it must sort this out it was. Okay, who's doing it? And this must go too! Mr. Pryor, put that plan down right this instant! Oh, Meshkatia, I didn't expect to see you here. So I would see. Please have a sign, Mr. Pryor. Meshkatia should require you to explain yourself. Oh, and that's you putting uh, sulfuric acid into ice cream. Alright, what. What made you do that? Mr. Pryor, when we spoke to you earlier, really, you seemed devastated by your son's death. Yeah, here you are destroying his belongings. I would apologize for you, Mitch Katia. I used to be proud of Joseph for his achievements, but I risked to discover the drill he was writing. Joseph told me he was a serious journalist, but that couldn't have been further from the truth. He was just humiliating people in order to sell newspapers. His articles were more caustic than the acid I used to kill the bugs in my garden. He used to be a sweet boy, always ready to share his ice cream with me, but he'd become a monster. I couldn't let any son of mine get away with such behavior. I'd rather destroy all his surviving work. Let's just hope you didn't decide to put a permanent stop to his behavior, Mr. Pryor. Because if you murdered your son, Mitch could still find out. And while we're here, Katia, we must take another look at the victim's desk. Just hope you didn't destroy the evidence while you were doing that. Alright, so let's uh, search victim's desk. I gotta search his desk if he destroyed it. Or maybe he just didn't. He was about to do it, but we stopped him. Well, he was about to destroy a plant. So why not? Oh, bust. So why is it damaged? We'll see. Oh, a code. Coded message. And uh, we're gonna uh, see it with uh, that code. You know. But yeah, this bust appears to be an argue with what Vitti says best selling journalist Joseph Pryor. But you're right, it's all scratched up. Clearly, someone wasn't happy about him receiving the award. Back here up that pig part of my tell us who. I look at this song, it was written by our victim. It reads, don't forget that I owed you. I know the truth. It sounds like our victim was threatening someone. Hopefully we decipher the symbols will elucidate the matter. God damn, whoever killed Joseph Brown shall elude us for luck. We're hot on their trail. Okay. Alright, let's uh, do this damage. Boss, I have a feeling it's Catherine who was jealous about Joseph. Katia will let the power of the city's boss must also be the person who defaced it. Let's put the power on the back to see if we can identify the culprit. Okay. Alright, now this letter. Yeah, this is completely useless to us. But yeah, you managed to submit the symbols of the threatening letter from our victim. Let's send them to Evie at once. Okay. Well, I can't do it to numbers now, so we're just gonna send it to Evie. Alright, three hours only. Okay. And now these pink particles. Let's see who was angry at the victim.
the other fight blush. So the part of letter of it is a war is a blush made by a company called Royally Rouge in the shade Cherry Conundrum. Cathy, I couldn't help but over here. You look for someone who wears Cherry Conundrum blush? That's the shade Catherine wears. Catherine, but that means she is the one who scratched up our victims of war. She did what? Oh, Katia, I'm sure you got it all wrong. Katia would never do such a thing. Well, she'll have a chance to defend herself when we speak to her. Katia, let's ask Katia about the victims of war. I told you it was going to be her. It was obvious. Alright, let's go talk to Katherine. Katherine, can you explain to me Katia why you scratched up Joseph's award? I was hoping you wouldn't find out, but of course it's a fool you, bitch, Katia. Well, it should have been my day with that award, not his. Every time I came up with an original idea for an article, Joseph would steal it and distort it into something which suited his own warped purposes. I spent five months crafting an article of corruption in the golfing world, even going so far as to learn to play myself. Only for Joseph to swoop it and turn it into a scandal about Birdie Rush's romantic exploits. The bet was unbearable. Was I enough to push you to do the unthinkable? Don't be ridiculous, which could be a member of the flying squad. Hardly the market for murders. Yes, you are. So naughty from you. Let's check out this mysterious numbers. So, even did you find out who the waiter said he owed in his letter? Well, getting to the bottom of those numbers is epic proved most challenging. That is until the dream team, that is Diego and I, got together. You see, I established rather quickly that the numbers relate to a law degree, that of a Mr. Hector Harvey. But that in itself did not explain the message about Joseph knowing the truth. And that's where I come in. You found me a copy of Mr. Harvey's law degree. And after careful eyes, I discovered that the document was falsified. So Hector Harvey's law decree was fake and our victim appeared to be holding it over his head? I agree, that this war is a chat with Mr. Harvey. Oh. First counterfeiting and now the forgery. Falsification. You again, Mitch Katia. Can't you see I'm trying to enjoy an ice cream? It's always as to do you were trying to get yourself sued from harassment. You can wipe that spirk off your face, Mr. Harvey. You know your law degree is fake. I how did you discover that? We also discovered that just a prior on you and was using it against you. We found his letters say he Owed you. Fine, it's true the scoundrel was blackmailing me. I don't know how, but he discovered my law degree was obtained through untraditional methods and said he'd out me if I didn't work for him for free. Me? Work for free? It hurt almost as much as that time I burned myself with the acid I was using to remove the trust from my gold clubs. Let's just hope that you didn't decide murder was the best way out of a tricky situation, Mr. Harvey. Because if so, Mitch Katia will be the one laying down the law. Oh, I hate him. I hate him. But today our degree had no shortage of enemies. Any one of our subjects had grounds to want him dead. Well, yeah. He's a journalist and journalists can anger people very easily, so. But not Catherine. No matter how many of her ideas he stole or how angry she was, she would never do something like that. If you say so, Evie, however, I wouldn't be so ready to vouch for either loyal Joseph was Blackwelly or his furious father. You're right, and we know that our kid will pass through the hotel lobby. Let's take another look there, past haste. Okay. Alright, let's investigate the hotel again. Uh, what's it going to be happening after we solve this murder? Are we gonna just go back to... to those, uh... Bonds. We are uh, hopefully investigating because I, I still have feel something's gonna go wrong, just like Diego. Something's gonna go wrong, and I know it. Oh God, why did it take you so long to load? Get 
Still, look at that cap you picked up. Looks like he's been burned straight through with acid. Well, you might have been testing it, so. And you're right, it's a golfing cat. We don't want to kill a place golf. They must have spilled some acid on a cat or the Buddha and left it here. Or maybe he was trying to see how acid acid works, so. Because some of those beige flakes of that cat might shed some light on their identity. As a trash can, I know the drill. Let's just show it at once. Okay. Alright, first this golf cap. Well, let's get those beige flakes for the killer's gold cat to be all at once. Okay. Alright, 15 hours. And now let's search this trash can. Oh. And we hit the jackpot. Katia, there was a bottle of sulfuric acid in that trash can. We know that sulfuric acid is the murder weapon, so this must be the bottle the cure used. We must send the bottles of Viola if we wish to learn more about them. And don't try to burn yourself, Viola. But you're good. I know you're good, so you won't. Let's check out this beige flakes. Katia, I know you're in a rush, so I shall be quick. The base place you can further cure is golf cap wearing fat skin cells. I knew it. I put the cells out of the DNA or she see if I could identify any of your kills distinguishing characteristics. And I was in luck. Thanks to those cells I can tell you that your cure has brown eyes. Well brown eye cure and better sleep with one eye open now that you're closing in, Katria. That's right. I'm close to you. Hold on, one more analysis and then I'll catch you. And now the bottle of acid. Viola, what have you got for us on the curious bottle of sulfuric acid? Well, firstly, I wholeheartedly the object to a chemical substance available as sulfuric acid being used for such industrial purposes as murder. Secondly, I found some tiny white fibers on the bottle. And the fibers had been soaked in a cornstarch mixture used to stiffen colors. So, he was wearing a starch white color. They must have transferred some fibers onto the bottle during the murder. Now, okay, was only behind her the color was you got him in Cascadia. That's right. Katia, this it. You were quite enough evidence to arrest Joseph Pryor's killer. Yes, let's do it. No color. He has green eyes. Oh, I thought for a moment it was going to be him, but then I see that he only has access to acid. Let me check the wall again to make sure I... I don't do that, but I do it now. And we arrest the Spectre. What went wrong, lawyer? Wow, let's do a lawyer, wow. I arrested a lot of people, but the lawyer, I can't remember exactly if I did before, but now I did. Mr. Harvey, I had arrest for the murder of Joseph Pryor. Did you really get a bad slide just so he wouldn't tell anyone that your law degree was fake? This preposterous. I would have thought the police would know better than to go around making unfounded accusations. Except they are not unfounded. Mitch Katia found a gold glove you left in the hotel lobby, covered in the victim's blood. Goodness, is that the best you got? Golf is one of the most popular sports in Concordia that glow could belong to anyone. But not everyone is in the possession of the type of acid which you put in with this ice cream. It's as I told you, I'll use that acid to clean my golf clubs. Give it up, Hector. The bottle of acid you used to kill the waiting had your clothing fibers on it. We you know you did it. Fine, you win, which I yeah, did kill Joseph. But not for the reason that you think. When he blackmailed me to work for him for free, I thought I'd reach my lowest point. But then Joseph published a scandalous article about my sister. 
So you had no issue with Joseph Smith or everybody else's reputation, but you drew the lie at your own family. It was just a reputation, but she wanted to launch a defamation lawsuit against Joseph. You told me to completely destroy her in court. Imagine, he held my fake law degree over my head so that I'd prove my sister was, in, was as disreputable as he claimed. It would have ruined her life. If I didn't do what he wanted, he'd have destroyed me. But if I had got along with it, I would have destroyed my sister. Killing him was the only choice I had. Well, in that case, our only choice is putting you in jail, Mr. Harvey. You had arrested for killing Joseph Pryor. Mr. Harvey is not accused of murdering Joseph Pryor. How do you plead? Guilty, Your Honor, but I only did it to protect my sister. I find it difficult to believe, Mr. Harvey. That it sounds like you prefer to kill a man rather than come clean about your own lies. You wouldn't have had a cold blood around this great to the legal establishment I have sworn to uphold and protect. The court therefore sentenced you to 25 years in prison. 25 years! I... I know my rights. I'll appeal. No. <laughs> that day I'm glad I managed to put Joseph Pryor's gear behind bars. See, I told you you could have been Catherine, Katria. I know her too well to have doubted her even for a second. You are too sweet, dear Evie. Yes, yes, and I'm sure Miss Birdie rushed to show also for you for investigating her in such an impertinent fashion. And now that this unpleasant matter has been resolved, you can finally start harassing the Rochester family, Katia. Good day. Um, about the Rochesters, Katria. I need to talk to you. Yeah, something fishy again is going to come up. Now listen to you, Chief. I'm gonna investigate it. But he doesn't have to know it. <laughs> Alright, we got stuff here, you can see playing around for your money, number 5. So, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video, and I'll see you again. Goodbye!